Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Today we get to conclude the story of Solomon in 1 Kings 11. So I want to start off by reading the first four chapters. And it says, Now King Solomon loved many foreign women, along with the daughter of Pharaoh, Moabite, Ammonite, Edomite, Sidonite, and Hittite women, from the nations concerning which the Lord had said to the people of Israel, You shall not enter into marriage with them, neither shall you shall they with you, for surely they will turn your heart after their gods. Solomon clung to them in love. He had 700 wives who were princesses and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. For when Solomon was in his old age, his wives turned away his heart after others' gods, and his heart was not wholly true to the Lord his God, as was the heart of David his father." This is such a sad ending to the story of Solomon. He chooses not to fully be devoted to God. Instead, he chooses to be led astray by breaking God's commandment, by marrying women that God had said not to. He had a thousand women that he loved. And it says that he clings to them, which leads him astray to worshiping their false demonic gods instead of being fully true to the one true God. Uh, Instead of clinging to God, he clings to these relationships that God had warned him not to have. That word cling to is used in the Old Testament to refer to that relationship of us clinging and depending on God. But here it refers to Solomon and how he clings to these women that are not following after God and they eventually lead him astray. This is such a sad story of a king who at one time was one of the greatest, most wise men on earth. And he was that way because at that time he was fully devoted to following God and being obedient to him. But at the end of his life, he, for whatever reason, chooses not to stay true to following God. And he gets led astray to worshiping idols. This is a warning for us. And the question I want us to reflect on today is, are we fully devoted to following God? Or are there things in our life or people or relationship in our life that are leading us astray? This could be anything from a relationship like Solomon had or money and wealth or anything that distracts us from fully following after Christ. He should be the most important thing that is in our life. And we should be able to give up anything to follow after Christ. But we have things that come into our lives that tempt us and want to draw us away. And are we willing to say no to those things in order to fully follow Christ? See, Matthew 22 uh, in verses 37 and 38, this is Jesus talking. He said, and he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. We are not called to just love God partially or with the leftovers of our life. We are called to love God with all that we are, with our total being, with all of our heart and soul and mind and strength. Everything we are should be fully devoted to following and loving after God. And so today I would invite us to examine our hearts, examine our lives, And ask God to reveal in us anything that is distracting us or leading us astray from following after God. Because I know that your life and my life will be blessed if we are fully devoted to following after God, loving him with all that we are, and following his ways. I pray that you have a great day.